Watch, watch your right side. Whoop, whoop. Man, there ain't nothing like this kind of dog work. And for their efforts, a big old ring neck rooster busting out of the field. But now, are we where you think we are? But what if I could tell you that there was a place that would take you back to the good old days? I'm talking about hunting your family farm with your dogs and jumping more pheasants than you can shake a stick at. Or maybe throw lead at, I should say. Now I hear tell of such a place, but they were gonna have to show me. And that's just what's gonna happen on today's G3 Sportsman. Unload the dogs and load the shotguns, boys. We're going pheasant hunting at a place you're gonna wanna know a lot more about. Let's get her started. I lost it. <laughs> Give me my fish. He with... fell off. Well, that thing pulled twice as hard as a silver. Look at this catfish. <laughs> oh, yeah, you catch that. Nice fish. Thank you, fish. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some of that. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Hey, welcome to the G3 Sportsman. You know, I'll bet some of you older guys can probably still remember being able to go out and hunt pheasants on your own farm, or at least somewhere close to where you live. I'm not talking about having big numbers or anything, but you could always go out and get a few points, at least get a few birds. But you know, just like everything else, that's not the case anymore. In order for us to get our fix, we've got to travel great distances in order just to see pheasants. Well, on today's show, that's what we're doing. We're pheasant hunting, but not where you think we'd be. Come October, hunters from all over the country flock to the airports and migrate west to Kansas, Nebraska, and the Dakotas to match wits with arguably the most popular of game birds, the ringneck pheasant. Once there, hunters march in unison these massive cornfields and hope that they can bag a limit of birds in what seems like an unlimited supply of flying feathers. Now, if you have the means to do so, it's certainly worth every penny. But if time is what you lack and funds aren't available, there are other ways to enjoy this great sport. Shooting preserves are becoming more popular for hunters that only have weekends or just a couple of days to spend away from home or work. Now near the small town of Baxter Springs in the southeast corner of Kansas, I began my journey to one of, if not the best, preserves in the U.S. Show Me Birds offers hunters the opportunity to hunt pheasants in natural habitat and with pointing dogs. Birds fly fast and hard, and you better have your A-game, because this isn't what you're thinking. Kim Shira owns and operates Show Me Birds, and now going into his 20th year, his operation is now the largest in the country, and for a reason. So today, we're going to show you how Show Me is the real deal. Uh, Danny's going to handle the dogs, and I'm just going to walk around and act like I know what's going on. You're going to walk around and shoot all the shoot all the birds. Been four years since I shot a shotgun, so don't depend on me very much. Yeah. Just there like was, riding a bike, isn't it? There was a time I could shoot, but not anymore. Yeah. But, uh, all right, well, as soon as we get uh, all the collars on the dogs, we'll be, uh, you see us here in a bit, we'll be in the field. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready. Oh yeah. Come on, Blake. You got a point right here? Bird will get up and scare me to death. Yeah, I'm ready. Which way do you think he's gonna go? Good job. Good, Good shot, job. Scott. Man, oh man. I'm glad you seen that dog. Got him off right by him. Yeah, I, well, I thought he was pointing. There you go. I mean, that's a big old bird, too. Big old head. I mean, tell you. Birds on that dude. 
Oh, I mean tell you, look at the spurs on this thing. You think he ought to be gobbling. I mean, that's some spurs now. Man, what a gorgeous, gorgeous bird right here. Pretty. And what'd you say? I shouldn't have hit him in the butt? Uh, something like that. When he got up, his tails were that long. The tail feathers were that long. Hey, that's, you got to figure that's all I had to aim at. <laughs> I guess when he's Beautiful bird. Away. Beautiful bird out here. Kansas. My goodness, man, what a day. And this is just starting. This is even going to get better. There you going to go. carry him for me, too? I'll even carry him for hey, me. I'll, you want to yeah, that, put him in there. Get, that, get some I'll, blood on that vest. I want my Primo's vest to get a good, uh, a good christening here. Let's go get another. My gosh, that was fun. Show Me Bird started 19 years ago. Just a group of good old country boys having fun. Uh, we grew from 400 customers the first year and 1,200 birds to 65,000 pheasants and a staff of 70 people. And I think the big key to our success is hunters taking care of hunters. And we know what hunters enjoy and, and uh, that's what we all built the business around. So we raise all of our own birds here. We have 65,000 pheasants a year. I have six and a half miles of flight pins to raise all the birds in. I know there's an issue with pin raised birds for a lot of hunters, but uh, not here. These birds are our own genetic bloodline of birds. I'll take you on a tour here in a few minutes and show you our hatchery, and uh, we have our own feed mill, our own feed nutritionist, and it's all produced for a strong flying pheasant that actually can outfly a wild pheasant, and I'll show you how we do that as we progress through the show. There he goes. That is a pretty rooster right there. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> They're getting birdie right here. Well. He was acting like it. We got one here. Come on in here, Kim. Go ahead. Beautiful. Just give us a word, Dan. Look how the dogs surround him. That's pretty cool. He's blocking for you. There he is, there he is Scott. Get him, Scott. You're heck on that wing shooting in them long retrieves. I got him though, didn't I? You got him. There's one of them long retrieves. <laughs> That's pretty. Boy, and I tell you what, anybody that complains and or, or doesn't even know, Kim, what hunting with you is like, I mean, they can't say anything till they come out here. <laughs> Thank you. This is... Uh, Danny this and is, I both work real hard making that happen. This is every bit as good as wild hunting, I guarantee you. Hey, you go ahead and stick him in there. I'll carry him again. Hey, I kind of like this. Yeah. The trick is we get you all loaded down and you can't get the gun up and I shoot most of them the second half. There you go. We knew 20 years ago there was a lot of problems with pin-reared birds. Problem is, natural birds have disappeared on us. So if we're gonna go upland bird hunting, something had to be done. That's when organizations such as mine stepped in 19, 20 years ago and said, okay, we're hunters. We know what a real pheasant's supposed to be. We couldn't find that pheasant, so we had to produce it ourselves. Our bird's known to be some of the wildest in the country, and a lot of the hunting resorts want our bird because it interacts with native pheasants, and the hunters uh, uh, just have no idea whether the bird came from these hatcheries or whether they came from nature. Next problem we have was nutrition. There was a real issue with nutrition in the people that produce feed in this country, not understanding that we're trying to raise adrenaline, not meat. So we had to go in and build our own feed mill. Problem is, a pheasant out in the native world basically eats corn. That's all that's in front of him. So we've developed a cornless diet because corn is carbohydrates to a pheasant. So we've eliminated the corn, pulled in 48% protein from soybean meal and milo, 
eliminated all those carbs, come in with the Show Me Birds Premix that we sell nationwide, and we can produce a bird with better nutrition than what a native pheasant has. That's pretty. I don't care who you are, that's pretty right there. You ready, Scott? Yeah. I'm ready for you to get one. Good shot, Kim. Of course, you had the easiest shot of the day. What? That's how you do it, brother. That's how you do it. You did do that. That was an excellent shot. I don't care how easy it was. I know why people come from all over the country to do that. Well, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm just lucky, Kim, that, that you, you know, get to come and do this with me. And I'm also glad I can get you out. I, I really as much fun as that was right there. I think you might need to come every year just to get me out of that office every year. I think I'll come every month. That sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> let's let let's let uh, let's let the mouth here carry carry yours. That sounds that? good. I, I've had back surgery recently, so that's all on him. Whoa. Whoa. Running pheasant. Ooh, what a pretty sight. <laughs> Woo! Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> it took two to get him down. That and he made me tough. corkscrew. I was turning around in the ground corkscrewing. Oh yeah, but they don't they don't fly, do they, Kim? Oh no, 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 no. Uh-uh. No. Here he comes. They go from zero to Mach 4 in about two seconds. Boy, that is no kidding. Beautiful. Good job, Billy. Tell you what, just Good job. That a boy bones. That a boy bones. You can hang that bird from his spurs. You think you see something like that with a pair of spurs on him, it's where you need a box call. <laughs> I mean, that is some killer spurs. You need a box call. Yeah, I don't kill gobblers with spurs that big. <laughs> that is amazing, I'll tell you, boy. Boy, he come up pretty, didn't he? Show me birds. It ain't named after the state of Missouri. It means when you come here, we're going to show you birds, There buddy. ain't no doubt about it. No doubt. Best pheasant hunting around right there. Thank you. That is. From what you guys have seen today, you can tell from these birds, even though we do not hide the fact that these are raised birds, we put them out here on our farms. Uh, it doesn't take them long at all to figure out that they're not in the pen anymore. And from the show that you've seen, they run, they do all they can to get away from you. They're not sitting there waiting on you to come shoot them. These things will do all they can to get away from you, just as close to a wild bird as we can possibly produce, and we think we're pretty daggum close. Show Me Birds is pretty unique because 20 years ago when we started, we were used to going out to the big corn fields in the western part of America and doing the walk and block. 12 men in a cornfield, up jumps a pheasant, everybody shoots. I know it's a lot of fun, I've done it all my life. But I always felt like real bird hunting, serious bird hunting, was with gun dogs or bird dogs. That's why we have so many gun dogs here. What we've created is, based on the habitat of the farms that we have, we gave up agriculture and we started farming all these farms for bird hunting. Totally different concept than what we plant in the summertime. What we're doing is taking an explosive pheasant putting him, him, him in the right habitat that we can hunt him with a pointing dog, like you would hunt quail. So now we have a combination of ringneck pheasant and pointing dog that's never really been done to any great extent in America. And I think that's been a big part of our success. when we're walking this way because you know what they're going to do. 
they're going to come right at you and skin the top of your cap. <laughs> and then when they hit that jet stream, he come out of there cackling about 45 mile an hour. That's the, that's the deacon making that retrieve for me. That's another a, pretty rooster. That is a pretty rooster right there. Boy, I'll tell you what now. I am having to milk these fiokies. Man, what some gorgeous birds too. And fly. That Fiocchi Chell reached out and got that one, didn't he? I mean he? that now. How cool is that? Go ahead. Hey, go ahead and put him in there. Yeah, go ahead and put him in there. Are you getting heavy yet? I'm really not. I'm, you know, I'm enjoying this. Look, look at them feathers stick out that back. I know. I look like I'm a hunter. Most people come out here, especially if it's their first time, really don't know what to expect. Um, we emphasize, obviously, a good hunt and entertaining people, but the, this is a real hunt, as close to wild bird hunting as you can get. Uh, we're gonna harass you a little bit when you miss. Uh, we did that a little bit to Scott today. Right over your head, 30 yards cackling at you. No human being could have hit that bird. He no. was too pretty. Or they, no human being should have hit that bird. <laughs> but uh, the only thing I can tell anybody that plans on coming here is it's not very much different at all than wild bird hunting. When you come, you better be ready to shoot when you step into the field. They, you're not just gonna just walk up there and just like catch a fish in a barrel. So plan on having a good time and uh, hopefully you got some thick skin when you come. <laughs> well, this one's got a point right here. Get it! Hit him again! Hit him again! Hit him, Scott! Again! You knocked the tar out of him. You hit him that first time. Man. Down he goes. That Brittany watched him. Yeah, they're going. They're going. Man, I stood him up that first shot. Good dog. Good shot. Look at that. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's a good in there. Got a boy right there. Woo, baby. <laughs> Boy, he come out screaming at us, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Good shot too, Kim. I never raised my gun. I mean, we're already back here at the truck and we're shooting some. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're gonna have to unload again. I hear you. Well, the great thing about Show Me Birds, guys, especially in the business world, you know, a lot of guys don't get much time off. So with Kansas and most of the states have a three or four bird bag limit. So a lot of guys think, my goodness, you know, I get two afternoons off, I get a three bird bag limit. It's sort of crazy for me to try to do this. Well, at Show Me Birds, there's no bag limit. We're not state regulated for that. We can shoot hens, we can shoot roosters. So guys come in here and do a six bird, eight bird, whatever kind of package you want. Like right here, we're doing an eight bird package. And for a business person, he says, hey, I can. that's worth my time to try to get away for a while. And everything here, we're hunting this afternoon. So any birds that I miss, you haven't missed any, but any birds that I miss, still on the farm, the hunters tomorrow morning get to shoot those birds free. So there's technically no bag limit on anything that you go after. Anything they leave behind goes to tomorrow afternoon. It just sits here in rows with we hunt seven days a week, every day on the farm. So have fun, no per bird charges, just enjoy yourself. Right now in America, there's 14,000 uh, upland bird hunting resorts and uh, all over the United States. Kansas has around 225 just in Kansas alone. So uh, it's grown to be quite an industry. Uh, big thing, like I mentioned earlier, is time. A lot of guys just can't go far, far away to do pheasant hunting and because of their work schedules. You know, Show Me Birds is not your typical shooting preserve for what you guys may be thinking about. This isn't something where they take these birds and tuck their head under their wing or, or put them in a sack and spin them around, get them dizzy and plant them, and you know where they're at when you come up there. This is truly as close to wild game bird hunting, and in a lot of cases, better. These guys do it right. They take care of everything. They've even got lodging there set up with the Holiday Inn there in Joplin. They got great rates, the Show Me Bird Special. 
They clean all the birds after the hunt, take care of you there, package them up so you can take them home. They don't give you frozen birds or anything. They're all fresh. Get your picture taken. Feed you a fantastic lunch with some great desserts. This place right here is, is really, really conducive to the hunter that just has a short time that he can spend out. And I'm gonna tell you something, you will not be disappointed at Show Me Birds and you are gonna have a big time. Just remember, you better take plenty of fiokis because you're gonna be doing a lot of shooting. But that's all we got for this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. Just remember, you can get onto our website and check into this show or any past shows or any other information that you may be looking for. And we're out of here, but we'll see you somewhere next week right here on the G3 Sportsman. The G3 Sportsman has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. G3 Boats, a Yamaha boat company. Fioki Ammunition, what's your game? Rally Auto Parts, professional parts people. Shakespeare Fishing Products, since 1897. Dennis Hank Chevrolet, where you'd send a friend. Berkeley, catch more fish. And buy Yamaha. Reliability starts here. This is the new G3 Sportsman. Uh, official vehicle now. Them dogs going to the bathroom going to make me have to go again. <laughs> you can talk to me, but don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. It's not my first time taking a pee in the bathroom. Yeah, give me more. Wait a minute. Are we, are we making a bloopers tape or what? How come you got the big piece and I got the small piece? <laughs>